Do you feel that your behavior with pornography and masturbation is involuntary? I don't mean this as a question that you reflect on logically. I mean this as a question that you should check with yourself internally. Check your feelings. Like, do I feel that way? Logically, you may say, no. I know I'm rebooting or I've been through a recovery program that uh, I can definitely control it. But is that how you actually feel? And is that what you believe? Because your feelings come from a thought. It may be a conscious thought. In most cases, it is an unconscious thought. And that unconscious thought manifests itself when you are triggered. When you hit that fuck it moment, it was preceded by a thought. And that thought was some variation of I have no control of this, I might as well do it anyway. And when you are done masturbating or acting out in whatever sexual way you usually do, you come to reflect on it and you experience deep guilt, you feel bad. Some of you are already going down the road of depression because you feel that you do not have any control over this and that you are a slave to it. Nobody likes that feeling of pretending that the rest of their life they're in control of it. But this one area, they are not in control. But what you do not realize is that prior to that slip or relapse, there was a thought and you were not aware of that thought. This is one of the reasons why the tools in the Reboot program are so important because they make you aware of your thoughts which precede your feelings now let's go back to that question of do you feel that you are not in control one of the first things to start working on in your reboot when you begin the process of ending this behavior whether you're in our program or not this is so important for you to do is to slowly come to the realization that you have a choice what does that mean? It means that you always have a choice as to whether to get on that website, to take that second or third look at that woman, to think about what she looks like naked, to watch that particular type of pornography. You always have a choice. Now, this is logical, right? You know that. But unfortunately, you're dealing with a compulsive behavior. So even if you know that logically, that is not what you feel. And why don't you feel that? You don't feel that because you are giving in to that behavior more often. See, when you choose one choice more than the other until it becomes your norm, you lose the perspective of the fact that you have a choice. You just think there's only one way because each time that the urge to engage in that behavior comes up, you choose, you choose, you choose to engage in it. That's what you've been doing. Your subconscious mind is not going to allow you to believe you have a choice. It only allows you to do this conditionally. When someone like me asks you the question, you think about it logically on a very surface level. Oh, yes, 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 I have a choice. But is it like that in practice? No. It's not like that in practice. So, the most important thing for you to start doing is number one, start reminding yourself every day, whenever you have your quiet time or your self-reflective time, which you should have, remind yourself that you always have a choice. Ingrain that into your subconscious. And the second thing is, always be aware of your thoughts. This is one of the reasons why journaling and other self-awareness exercises like meditation are important because they allow you to sometimes dispassionately observe your thoughts and you begin to realize that the thoughts are often seedlings from which your most destructive feelings, guilt, shame, insecurity, feeling less than others, all of those feelings stem from. That's my message for you guys. 
I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to continue my run with the support of our Optimum U program. So if you're ever interested in learning how I transform my body, keep myself fit, and maintain ridiculously high energy levels all day long, send me a DM, all right? With the number 28, I'll tell you what to do next. Have a wonderful day.